Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting video. Well, at least I think it's an exciting video because I love watching these kind of videos on YouTube. So I decided to film one myself because this was such an exciting purchase for me and I just wanted to share with you guys my excitement. I have been looking for a mom friendly purse for quite some time now because I carry a book bag when I am with my daughter whenever we are out and about. But to carry around her book bag and my big tote is a little bit cumbersome and it just gets in the way and it's just it's just a lot i feel like i'm bulky i feel like i'm a bag lady i feel like people are staring at me like this girl needs to get her life together even though people aren't i just feel like i have a stroller i have the baby i have my purse i have my book bag and then whatever bags i'm carrying if i'm going grocery shopping if i'm going mall shopping if i'm going to buy anything i just feel like i look like a crazy bag lady i was looking for quite some time and i came across a purse that i thought was mom friendly but the first one i saw was the smaller version of the purse and being that it was so small i didn't feel like it was practical i do have the samsung note 8 yes note 8 and this phone is big and my phone did not fit in that purse so i waited until they came out with a bigger size which they did and I was so excited and when the color came back in stock that I wanted I knew I had to get it because it was just it was just the universe telling me that I needed this purse I knew I had to have it it was a sign and before I get into the video I wanted to tell you guys sorry for the lack of videos the past few weeks I have been trying to get my YouTube set up as close to perfect as possible. I am such a perfectionist and the last couple of videos that I put up, I wasn't too keen on the lighting. So I ordered new lights, I have a new setup now. I hope you like this new background that I have before I was filming on another side of the room, but I wanted to switch it up and I wanted to have a new background. So I was working on that. I was working on just getting everything situated that I needed. And I think that it is working pretty well. These lights are pretty bright but I feel like you'll be able to see makeup tutorials because I did film a couple makeup tutorials that I had to actually trash and I'm gonna start over. That was fun. And now that I have my light set up, I'm good to go. I hope you guys like the new lighting and the new setup. I just wanna be able to make sure that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing in real life on camera through YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This is the box that the item was shipped in. I did purchase it from Nordstrom. It didn't come with any fancy packaging. It was just a regular Nordstrom box. And this is how the bag was shipped to me. It doesn't have any fancy packaging like I mentioned, but you know, who needs fancy packaging when you're trying to get down to the meat and potatoes, okay? I just wanted the bag. It does come with a dust bag for the purse. And drum roll please. This is what my baby looks like. It is the Chloe Nile purse and I got it in the medium size. It does come in a smaller size and I was eyeing the smaller size for so long but I just didn't think it was practical. I immediately fell in love with the medium size and I haven't seen too many reviews on the medium size. I just took a gamble with it and the gamble paid off because this size is perfect for me. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside and how spacious it is. But this to me is a very mom friendly purse. I'm still able to carry my own things in my purse and still have my daughter's book bag on me without looking like a bag lady, without it consuming me <laughs> if you know what I mean this has to take this off it does come with a bracelet handle which is what makes the bag very unique and it does fold over on the flap of the purse but yeah this is the color it is in the gray color and I felt like this was a very neutral very everyday friendly color there was another color that I was interested in which was the biscotti beige but I felt like the gray would be more suited for me more of like an everyday color the beige one was really really pretty super pretty but I just felt like I gravitated more to the gray and I'm so happy I got it and let me take off all this extra stuff so you guys can see the purse this is what the purse looks like and as you can see it is a pretty good size purse I will insert some clips of me wearing it crossbody as well as wearing it off the shoulder but it is just a good size for me wearing the purse without adjusting the straps it does hit me at hip length it is a perfect length to wear it crossbody but if I wanted to make it longer or shorter I can adjust it with the straps it does have a closure in the front and you just pop it open and this is what it looks like on the inside 
stuff out. I do like to keep the paper or sometimes I use a shirt to put inside of my bags because I like to help keep the shape of the purse. And this is what the inside looks like. And as you can see, it is very, very spacious. Here it does come with the controller card for the purse to prove the authenticity. It does have a small little pocket on the inside where I can probably put my card, some money, whatever can fit in this pocket. But this is the inside of it and look how spacious it is when I pull it open. I can actually fit my phone. So if you have a large phone like I do, know that it will fit in here. If you have been looking at the Chloe Nile and you have been trying to figure out if you want the small or medium, if you have a large phone, I would tell you that the large phone will not fit in the smaller size. For $100 more if you wanted it to fit in your purse, then go with the medium. And I'm really happy with the purchase. I'm, I just love the color. I just think it is so perfect. It's so me. And on the back side, it does come with a pocket. I don't think it will fit my phone. Let's see. No, it will stick out, but I could probably put something that I need to easily access in the back, which would not be my phone, but I could put something in the back if I wanted to use the back side, which comes in handy. The strap of the purse does come with holes in it, so if you wanted to adjust it to make it longer, you can, you do have that option. And you can also take off the strap if you wanted to use the bracelet portion of the purse and just wear it like this. And that's one thing that I really like about this uniqueness of this bag is that I can wear it as a bracelet bag if I want it to go out or I can wear it as a crossbody bag or I can wear it off the shoulder. There's so many ways you can wear this bag. It's so versatile. I do feel like this purse is pretty trendy, but I feel like it's a classic trendy. I don't own anything Chloe. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have this baby and add her to my collection. It's just beautiful. This purse does come in a half moon shape which I think is pointless because you can't really fit anything on it and to spend all that money to wear a bag to just put your lip gloss and lipstick is not practical for me for some people it may be that's fine if that's what you prefer but I just think that the half moon is not something that's practical for me so there are three different styles to this which is the half moon the small Nile and this one and I just feel like this one is just a normal everyday essential bag for me that I can wear to work that I can wear out and about and I can also wear when I have my daughter so that way it doesn't take up so much room on me this bag smells amazing. It has that genuine leather smell. I did mention that the purse is a gray color, but I just want to specify that this is the Monty gray. There is a lighter gray. It's a very true gray color, and this is more of a taupey brown grayish color which is more of the neutral side and I like that it contrasts with the gold hardware which makes the bag very classy in my opinion on the side of the purse this material is a suede material and it does have the band of the purse around it but this here is all suede I do like the two different textures of the purse I wanted to find out what the actual material of the purse is and it is a calfskin leather and it does have suede on the outside it is made in Italy it is described as a top bracelet handle and it does have a magnetic snap flap closure to help it close and fasten easily. I want to read to you guys the description of the purse. It says it's an equestrian inspired lines and a mixture of suede and leather panels accentuate the simple, practical and chic silhouette of a compact saddlebag. An articulated Chloe bracelet and a circular stud add polished gleam to the day to night design while multiple styling options allow you to carry it by hand, wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody bag. And the sizing of the purse, it's nine and a half in width, seven and a half in height and four inches in depth. It does come with a five and a half inch strap and you can wear it crossbody and it will extend from 19 and a half to 22 and a half inches so yeah that's the description of the purse i'm so excited to have this added to my collection and i just wanted to share with you guys so yeah, if you were interested in this bag, I would definitely recommend adding it to your arsenal. It is pretty expensive, but I feel like it's gonna be worth it. So I'll give you guys an update on this purse later on down the line after I've worn it for some time to see how mom friendly it is. If you wanted to splurge on something that was a little bit more practical and more functional, I would say check this out. I wanted to share with you guys what this bag looked like because this was my first time actually holding it and seeing it because all I've seen was reviews online and I have not actually seen it in store. So when I saw that Nordstrom had it, 
I was so happy that I was able to purchase it. I was able to use my Nordstrom notes to save a little bit of money. I'm so happy I was able to use my Nordstrom note towards this purchase as well as gain triple points for the purchase. So it was a win-win and that's why I love shopping at Nordstrom. I do enjoy watching these kinds of videos because it gives me a little bit more insight on a purse, especially if I've been wanting it, if I want to get more information about it. I like to get people's opinions. I like to see how it wears and sometimes I do not have the opportunity to go to the store. So watching these videos helps me in making my online decision purchasing easier. So I enjoy watching these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you guys are notified when a new video is up. YouTube has changed their algorithm and if you don't watch my videos it won't come up on your playlist. So definitely hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss out on any videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.